Hi all, welcome on Trials and Code channel. Today I will show you how to create first simple Google Chrome extension. I will show what is an extension and then we will create Hello World extension. Then I will show how to install it into your Chrome, Chrome browser. Then I will show how to debug it because it's very important. Also in the end we will create two pages pop up and options. I will show what the pages they are and why do we need it. And after that, I will show how to publish your extension to Google Chrome Store, Chrome Store extension, and how can you use it. Let's start. First of all, let's create the first simple project. I will call it extension. And the next one, what we need, let's open documentation, how to create extensions. Uh, you can find it on developers uh, Chrome com extension. It's uh, required documentation because we need to understand what is it and how to create it. And always, if you do not know how to create something, try to find documentation. It will help help you. So, what is extension? Extensions are small software programs that uh, help you to extend browser experience. For example, as you, maybe you know, AdBlock Plus. It's extension which uh, delete uh, advertisement from your page. Very popular and uh, it's just a Chrome extension. Also, maybe there are a few other extensions such as uh, Perfect Pixel. It's special for development, for Perfect Pixel development. And there are other extensions such as screenshots. Uh, for a Chrome extension, you can make screenshot of your page. And there are a lot of other extensions you can see I have a few of them. So let's close it and uh, what do you need to know? That uh, all extensions are built on web technologies such as HTML, JavaScript and CSS. Nothing complex and uh, it should not be difficult. So let's create it. First of all what we need is manifest JSON file. Let's create it. Uh, in this manifest we need to provide a few properties it's some information. First of all, it's our name of extension. So I will call it Hello World, World Extension. Then description, you can add anything. Then I will show where you can see it. Also, what is uh, important is manifest version. It's always true. Right now it's the latest version and it's not related to your extension version. Version, it's especially your, your Chrome extension version. So you can put it any anything. It doesn't matter right now. And uh, after that, uh, we can create a hello page, but I will show the simplest version. Let's add browser action. It's another important part. Not required, but important. And uh, here, I guess this one we can delete right now even. Uh, what we need, we need the uh, image. So let's create such image. I already have it, I just will add this image to our project. Okay, so let's add this image. So here we have image and here we have default icon, it's image. It's that image you will see here in Chrome extensions. So this is it, we created our first extension. So let's add it to our Chrome. So what we need, uh, let's open our Chrome. Let's go to tools, more tools and extensions. And uh, here to add uh, your extension locally, you need uh, enable developer mode because just in developer mode, you, you can create, unpub you can add unpublished extension. So let's click load unpacked. Okay, let's all loaded documents. So here extension and we need to add this folder. Let's select it. And uh, here, as we see, we added first extension. And now here we have this Hello World extension. So here we see that there is a name, here's version, and here's extension. It's our description and it works. Right now we click and nothing happened because we didn't add anything. So it works fine. Also you can reload it. Here are some details about this extension. Okay, and you can delete it. So let's add some behavior. Let's add this uh, hello HTML and uh, this pop-up. What is so? What is uh, this uh, default pop-up? Pop-up. It's uh, the page what we will see 
even on the page maybe it's a widget when we click on our extension for example here when you click on a block you see this small widget it's our pop-up let's create it so here we need create hello html and uh, we'll add some information markup so we add it and uh, let's reload our application it's reloaded and uh, when we click here so we see this pop-up you can hide it and it works okay we created it but right now it's right now it's empty and um, let's add one additional feature it's uh, comments that you can uh, call your extension by some um, keys when you click some uh, key it will open your description let's copy that and extend our manifest so right now when we click macos it's for windows it's for macos so when we call mark control shift f we should see our application again let's reload it and when we shift f doesn't work okay we will check it later so let's go further so here the first part was finished let's go a bit deeper so here you can find how to edit and uh, the next step let's add some behavior so we want to we want to create some javascript uh, to see how to debug it and how to inspect our code and then we will try to publish it i will show how to do it what we need we need to create background and add some scripts uh, what is background scripts background scripts it's a script uh, where you can add some listeners for your application for your extension for example when it was installed or something happened you can listen it and then fire some events let's try to do it what we need it's a array of uh, scripts and the persistent false so we need to create background JS file in this background JS just add this information this code what and what i mentioned is listeners when when uh, on installed event this happened we try to set uh, this value to chrome storage and then it's callback function that it shows that the color is green that it was set and uh, if you use it if you want to use uh, some uh, services of chrome for example storage we need to request permissions let's add permission storage Control manifest it's a new part and uh, right now let's reload our application and here we can see that we have first error that uh, it requires traveling comma oh, it's not allowed it's users so let's cancel it here we remove it because it's json reload it and uh, see we, here we can see that it's reloaded and here we can see a new feature is inspect views background page so let's click it and uh, here we will see our chrome debugger and uh, you can find that it's console log what was locked and uh, in source you can uh, fi you can find our test here we need our page and uh, background jazz and here you can see that we see our extension and we can debug it okay and just let add some behavior to it so we have a pop-up let's update it we will add um, let's leave it hello hello html it will be our pop-up file and uh, what is important we can add the images to page action so let's add these images uh, why do we need it i will show you here fold icon it's object and then uh, also here you can see that it's page action but uh, we have browser action in our case right now it doesn't matter because um, page action it uh, makes for different pages for example on one pa on some pages you can enable this extension it will be active for other it will be inactive but in browser action it always always will be the same so let's add these images so let's add the uh, images it's images with different size for different uh, different views let's edit i already have these images these images 
and uh, again let's reload our application because here as you see we had uh, we have an image but when we reload it it still doesn't work because we need to add the icons on the higher level we will add the icons here not in browser action or page action let's add it here and uh, let's reload okay again let's remove it and retry and here as you see we have this image after reloading uh, you see that uh, we have image and we have our pop-up new pop-up so it means that uh, these icons have more priority to and uh, especially we need here especially to show an extension page or if you will add it to some other okay and uh, okay let's keep it simple so we add just uh, pop-up jazz it's a client script so let's our let's extend our hello script let's add this pop-up jazz and uh, we'll create pop jazz and uh, here and uh, here let's copy this and create something very simple so we, we add uh, we will get element by change by id change color and um, we will add some function on click but let's do it much more simple simple we add the alert something and uh, and that's it so again let's reload it when we click it here that we see we have this hello world alert also let me show you how to one feature in debugging for example we have this one and let's add some misprint try to reload this application and here we see we have errors let's open it and uh, Right now we can see that here we have error, so we can fix it and reload again and everything works fine. Okay, so we created it and uh, the latest step I will show you how to publish it. Okay, we need to sign in. So we need to sign in to Chrome Web Store and here is pretty old version. Uh, I already have first extension sample, but it's not published draft because to publish extension you need pay five dollars. It's a fee, so you can go here and add the new item. To add it, you need create extension zip file, and so I already have it file. Let's choose it. So what's important? You need uh, you need uh, just these files, not extension folder, but um, content of this folder let's open it upload after that you you need to add the image extension description upload icon also after that you need screenshots with such resolution and some promotion images you can add a website, category, regions, countries, and after that you can you can publish it. It will take approximately it will require review from Google Chrome. It may it might take a few weeks, but what you need to remember is that one time developer registration fee is five dollar. It's what you need to pay for publishing this extension. Okay, and that's it. Thank you for watching.